Langston in Kent. Smidzy. Smidzy stands for sorry, mate. I didn't see you. Okay. Now we've noticed something, me and my team. You got different treads on your tyres, front and rear. Was that deliberate, or were they the only yes, ones you could there's, get? Yes, there's, there's complicated technical reasons for that. Go on. Which I we had two tyres damaged last year, and we had to buy new ones. <laughs> we thought that might do. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. A four-wheeled invertible design built to be tough. It has multi-purpose front jaws tipped with razor-sharp blades and a 12-kilo, 200-mile-an-hour rear disc. From Goon Bell in St Agnes, St Agro. Saints alive, look at this, and wait for the shirts. Agro team, who are you most worried about? Smitty. Why? She could take our tyres off. They've got great experience, but then yep. they've got a weighty spinning disc, which also could take your tyres off. Yep. Pretty much anyone could have them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Double-sided, double flipper, 800 watt electric motorised, fast at 15 miles an hour, manoeuvrable, durable, and strong. From Wotton in the Isle of Wight, come and get her, Ix. If you think you're hard enough for Ix. This is amazing. You've got to be well protected these days, you know. See what you can do in your spare time with a few Coke can rings. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're up against Spitzy, mm -hmm. Warhawk, and them next door. Who are they? The shirts. Oh yeah, the shirts are pretty. Uh, yeah, the shirts yeah. scare me. Modified slightly from the last horse, has the axe and lifting beam, a three mech, and a speed controller, which they say is working this time. That helps. From Bruff in East Yorkshire. Warhawk. Basically a big spinning disc on wheels. Which ones would you be worried about if you were worried about any of them? I'm not sure, guys, what do you reckon? No, no, no. Yeah, you'll be it. You're spinning round. Very quickly. Very quickly. How quickly? Oh, about 500 RPM. How quick you just hit the just spin? Oh, uh, doesn't matter, we're much heavier. <laughs> Now, the disc has two blades attached, moving via a four-wheel drive system and an actuator, which is used to lift one end to assist with steering, but it's got a very high ground clearance, I think. Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the shirts once again. St Agro, Captain Terry Carlin, Smitty, Captain Mick Reed. And in the other pod, come and get on the left there, Captain Ian Gear and Warhog, Captain by Paul Stevenson. Growlers in the arena, 450 kilos of menacing munch, and there, shunt with a bulldozer blade. Three, two, one, activate. When do they see the arena floor spinner in action and the spinning machine that is Warhawk in a little bit of trouble already? Come and get it. His axe comes down on Smidzy. Once previously reached a heat final, it was in the last wars, Robot Wars, the fifth wars. Have they improved again, Smidzy? Warhog again taking some punishment. We're seeing there the common Getterix team from behind. Now a little flip from St Agro, opening up the jaws of its flipper. Wonderful shirts, great design, the boys from Cornwall. Can they go through? Now we're seeing common Getterix in action once again, using the big lifter. Against the arena side, well, Warhog! The arena sidewall is literally in splinters. That was the spinner of Warhawk, pressurized, that did that damage there. Come and get it with the big 100 kilo shove. Warhawk again slams against the arena sidewall, so we know the destructibility of that spinning disc and the blade. We know how heavy it is, but is it fully under control? St. Agro has activated that pit release. I wonder who's going to go down. Warhawk to me seems out of control. Oh, Biggie back. Lift, <laughs> lift it up on Smith. <laughs> Where's it going to go from there? Splendid stuff. Smithy digging for a ride. Down comes Warhawk once again. <laughs> Warhawk's totally out of control out there in the arena. Smithy doing some damage. Controls who needs them when we've got fun like this. Come and get her. It's slamming back. 
<laughs> into the CBZ. What is going on out there? Do they know? I don't know. Come on, boys, get a grip. Growler certainly will. Come and get drinks against the arena side wall. Seems to have impaled itself with his axe. Growler thinks so. He's having a little bit of a nudge. Well, who's under control? Who's still alive here? I'll have to ask Craig. I have not got the faintest idea. Come and get drinks. has certainly caught its own axe. Oh, it's now Brain who's got into the pit. No! Very nearly. Ooh, and the crowd. Dear, dear, what? Thomas got in and now finally St. Ambrose bitten the dust and they've got in. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, Warhog's still out there, I think. Smith is pushing it into the CPZ. Shunt's axe comes down. This is great stuff. Look at the eyes of Warhog. Come and get Rix is still there as well. Certainly, Smidzy has done brilliant work for me once again. Smidzy knocked out of the heat three times in the past. Can they go one step further this time? Warhog's been great value, although I'm not too sure the judges will agree with me if it goes to a judge's decision against the <laughs> sideboard again. I love the eyes and the tusk and the nose out there, Warhog. Did it ever really know what he was doing? Growler backs in. Warhog picking back in again on Smidzy. Trying to take a ride through to the later stages. It's not going to work, boys. Go on, Smidzy, get rid. Wait, oh, no! Smidzy would have got in the pit there, surely by itself. Very delicate driving by the Smidzy team. Mick Reed's team there. Warhog's almost gone. Surely it's trying to piggyback its way. Six. Out of the pit, but it's gone. Surely. Oh, that was brilliant. That's one of the greatest battles ever. Did you like that fight? Did you like that fight? This is what we want. Warhol gets a piggyback ride to the pits. St. Agro was already there. So that means Smidzy and Come and Get Rix, they go through. <laughs> But now look, these are that. islands. It was really entertaining. That was what good. Was that? This is your barrier. <laughs> this is your arena barrier. Did you do I'm that? Sorry about that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not very sorry, but we are sorry. Your only real taste of victory was the little ride on the back of Smidzy's back, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, That was rad. the closest that you came, and then in the pit. In the pit. You must have been impressed I at was, the others. We was happy. We was happy. It was good. It was a good war. Hello! We're slightly going off course here, but then you're used to that now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it's a long way from Cornwall. It's a long way back as well. And back is where you're going. Yeah. Yes. Now, quite early on you were out of it, really. Yeah. Right at the beginning. First flip, it failed. What's that taught you about designing robots? Better work next year. <laughs> Isn't it taught you, when you're designing them, give them a good chuck around the garage and see if they still work afterwards? I did that. <laughs> did you? Yeah. So bolt the bits on tighter next time, maybe. OK. Oh, I'm still recovering. So Agro and Warhog are out of it. Smidzy and Common Gatrix go through to the second round. In a moment, Common Gatrix will fight Hydra, but first up, Dominator 2 and Smidzy. Now, I have to say... <laughs> Not looking ready for battle. No, no, we've got a few things to tweak up, I think. Look, this is Dominator 2, naked. Woo-hoo! Um, <laughs> I love this camera, it's great fun. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. You're nowhere near ready, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, somebody gives me an honest answer. Smitty, you may be neighbours in the pits, but on the arena floor it's going to be a different matter, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> on the arena floor, we'll be the people pushing them around, tipping them over, disking them straight into the um, pit. Will you remember to put your wheel back on before you go in? We don't need Do it. We? Yeah, no. You don't need it. Oh, rubbish. They're tearing up the war zone tonight, but can they tear up each other? Let round two begin. Smitty. Let's have a look at the Smitty team in that control booth. Mick Reed, Andy Pugh and Robin Bennett, the driver. Dominator 2. And the Dominator 2 boys, Chris Hall, Paul Tolliday and Elliot Smart. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robots. 
We have Growler, Sergeant Bash. Three, two, one. Activate. Dominator two. The seeds don't forget. Number six seeds. Smidzy have twice reached heat finals but have been beaten on both occasions. But they are pushing Dominator two. Over the flame bit. Down comes Dominator's axe. I would say it is the more fearful weapon here. And it's got straight through there onto one of the tyres. Well, a lucky escape for Smidzy, I felt. I don't think the Dominator 2 team pressed home its advantage then. Could they have dragged Smidzy across the arena floor? Or did they not trust their own pulling power? 